What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video I'm going to be going over my top 5 reward cards for you to pick up. This is not going to be the 5 best players. I take into account how much the collection costs as well, so cards like Dominique Wilkins, cards like Isaiah Ryder, Jamal Mashburn, um, trying to think of who else, the Nuggets is really expensive, to Kevin Mimitumbo. They're not going to be in this video because I don't think that they're anywhere close to being worth it. Especially with a card like Matumbo because you can use a center like Tyson Chandler with a duo with J.R. Smith. And I think that they, he does the exact same job as Matumbo will do. A lot of things are going to be factored in this. One, how good the Ruby card is. Two, how good the collection is so that if you're locking in players, do you get good players with it? And also the price of the collection and the price of the card. So this isn't how good the players are. There's definitely better players lower on this list than players that are higher. And there's definitely better players that aren't on this list. These are just cards that I think when you combine everything, the players in the collection, the price of the collection, and the ability of the cards, I think that these five are the best five that you can pick up right now in the game. Obviously, when the prices of players go down, they're going up right now because no one's opening packs. When more people open packs around Christmas and these collections get really cheap, there's definitely, definitely going to be better better rubies to pick up than these. It's just right now, I think these are the best value. So anyway, now let's get on to the five. At number five, we have got Hersey Hawkins. Hersey Hawkins is part of the 76ers collection, which is actually one of the cheaper ones. For a King Corkman's, you can pick up for less than 1,000 MT. Apart from um, Ben Simmons, and let me see and jared bale is quite expensive apart from the two of them you can normally pick up all these cards for less than at most at the very most 2k mt sometimes you can even pick someone up for less than 1k mt which is what i did Fultz is at most 1k mt and mb is about 6 7k mt so overall this collection can come in between anywhere between i'd say maybe 25 and 32,000 mt so it's not the most expensive. While I wouldn't suggest locking them in, it's not as expensive as last year's collection, but you do get a great Hersey Hawkins card. So Hersey Hawkins is an 89 overall Ruby card, six foot three shooting guard, one of the, a really nice release and one of the best shooters you can get in the game. 92 open shot mid, 89 open shot three, 89 free throw, decent ball control so you can play a little bit at the one. He's quite a good defender, 76 on ball defensive IQ and is quite fast, so a really, really nice card. So Hersey Hawkins, I don't know why I'm going over hot zones because it's not that big a deal. His release is very, very nice though. It's the same as it's been all through the years. And he's again, he's one of those cards that's going to be a great spot-up shooter even later in the game. Even come January, February, he'll be a great spot-up shooter. While he doesn't excel right now because you're going to need your rubies to be your main man. As the year goes on, he's going to be a great, great role player. Unfortunately, can't dunk too well. Like, he can dunk, but, like, he doesn't dunk like he has in previous years. Doesn't defend like he has in previous years, but is a really, really good card. At number four, we have got the cheapest collection award, and we have got Kerry Kittles from the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets collection is the cheapest one you can pick up. Like, every single card here can be purchased for less than 2,000 MT. And if you look and you try to snipe them, you can pick up most of these cards for less than 1K MT. It's not often you can find them for that much, but I bought every one of these cards for less than um, 1,000 MT. So this collection can come in anywhere between 10 and 20k. So I'm going to say an average of about 15k. And you do get a great Kerry Kittles card for it. So Kerry Kittles has got really nice stats. He's got an open shot mid of 93 and open shot 3 of 92 with a not bad release. He's also got a post fadeaway of 77. He's got ball control of 79, which is good. Not a great rebounder. Good defender, 85 lateral quickness and 80 on ball defensive IQ with 85 steel makes him really good. He's got a good driving dunk of 75, but his tendency is only five, so he doesn't dunk. Until they start fixing tendencies, he's not gonna dunk for you. You can ignore that rating. He's got 82 speed, 79 speed of boss, 80 acceleration, 85 vertical, and he's got 95 stamina. Kerry Kittles is one of those players that can just heat up. He can drop 20 points in a quarter, to be honest. Like, I've had games where I've scored zero with him, and I've had games where I've dropped 30 with him. He can just go off at random stages in a game. He can be quiet for a game, and then as soon as he heats up, he doesn't miss. Has a bit of a weird release, not good, but not terrible, and has got goals at difficult shots, meaning he hits a lot of pull-ups. But he is a little bit inconsistent, and when he's, on his, when he's off his game, he's worse than some gold cards that's the reason he's number four on this list otherwise with how cheap he is he'd be number one without doubt if he was able to perform at his high level consistently and number three we've got a small four or shooting guard is it he's a shooting guard this year and it's larry hughes john wall and bradley beal combined for about 10k mt and the rest of these cards can all be picked up for around 1000 mt so this collection is at most 25k mt i forgot to mention this the hersey hawkins collection 
So Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, an extremely, extremely good duo, and that kind of helps soften the blow a little bit of having to lock the players in. And for the Wizards, a duo is a big reason why I locked in the collection. So John Wall and Bradley Beal is a great duo. John Wall becomes an 84, Bradley Beal becomes an 81, and Bradley Beal's three goes up to a 90, which is really, really good. So Larry Hughes is an 89 overall. He's an 89 defense, 87 offensive overall. His badges, he comes with six gold badges, which is big. He also has 72 post fade away, which is not bad at all. He got an open shot made of 88, open shot three of 85, free throw of 80, 85 ball control, so he just needs a shoe and he can speed boost. He's got lateral quickness of 90, which is great, and on ball defense, Viking of 87, with a 94 steal. So he's gonna be absolutely locked down in this game. He's got a driving of 40, which is not great, and a driving of tendency of 15, so he's not gonna dunk too much. But he does have a speed of 80, speed ball of 84, and 84 accelerations. So this card can genuinely be used as a point guard or a primary ball handler, and he'll do really, really well in that role. So Larry Hughes has a lot of cold zones, but it's been proven that that doesn't make too much of a difference. His release is very nice. Like a lot of people were saying he has a bad release, and then others were saying he's the best release in the game. But I wouldn't call it the best release in the game. It is definitely a good release. It's nothing compared to uh, LaFrance or anything like that, or what I assume Tim Hardaway Jr.'s is. I haven't even used that card this year. But um, yeah, it still is a very, very nice release. Got a good mid-range game, good three-point game, and is a lockdown defender. So definitely, definitely worth the pick up with how cheap this uh, collection is and how good the duo of John Wall and Bradley Beal is. At number two, we've got a lot of people's favorite, and it's Dan Marley. The Suns is a really, really cheap collection to complete. Like, Marquise Chris might set you back about 2K MT, um, Bledsoe will set you back about 4K MT right now, and the rest of the team can be picked up. Well, actually, Derek, uh, Derek Jones Jr. might be a little bit expensive, pricey because of how good he is but the rest of the team can be picked up really really cheap so in total this collection is probably somewhere between 20 and 25 kmt this collection again comes with a great point guard shooting guard duo you've got eric bledsoe and you've got uh, devin booker bledsoe goes, goes up to an 82 booker goes up to an 81 but booker's three point shot goes up to an 82 which is good a lot better than the 75 he already had and bledsoe just becomes quite be quite a bit better as well Dan Marley's a great 3 and D card, 93 defensive overall. Not going to do anything spectacular in offense, but he is a spot-up shooter. 89 open shot 3, 88 open shot mid. He's not going to be your main man, so with the way the salary cap is right now and the fact that it's quite low, I wouldn't really suggest using this guy right now in um, in Supermax, but I think go down the road he will be one of the best cards because he's a really great 3 and D guy. and. He'll be a player that'll be able to compete. When there's diamonds in there, he's going to stand the test of time, which is really, really good. He's got a good, great shooting, as I already said. 88 free throw, 78 ball control. He's a really good defender. On ball defense, like even 93. Lateral quickness of set 89. Steal of 79, which is really good. Driving dunk of 76, which is quite good stats wise. And a dunk tendency of 45. I mean, he might dunk it a little bit. He's quite fast, not incredibly fast. And I just prefer this card. I've used him a little bit to Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes is great. Like, probably should be better on paper than this card. But I do prefer Dan Marley slightly. And the collection is a lot cheaper for the Suns as well. That's why I have Marley slightly ahead of Larry Hughes. Dan Marley is just going to be a role player. He's so he's just going to be a role player. Has a really nice release. I'm just going to see if he's even dunk it in freestyle this year. Yeah, so he dunk, he's dunking it in freestyle, but he's not going to dunk too much in the game. He's not really going to dunk on people this year too much. But he's just going to be a 3 and D guy. He's not going to be attacking the basket too much. He's not going to be the best card to use in Supermax right now because you don't want to waste 250 of your salary on a 3 and D guy. But definitely as the year goes on and Rubies become bench warmers with the three th close to 3,000 salary cap, he's going to be a great card to use and he's going to be a great player to have to defend the other team's best player and just to hit open jump shots and number one of course it's reggie lewis so the celtics collection is a little bit more pricey like Kyrie's about 3k hayward's about 5k horford's around 3 or 4k mt so the three of these guys combine for well over 10k mt the rest of them can be all sniped the bronzes aren't expensive aren't particularly expensive like, they're around 1,000 MT, and um, Tatum is normally around 3K MT, Jalen Brown about 2K MT, the rest of them aren't too expensive, and Marcus Smart is 500, 500 MT, so it's not too bad. So in total, this collection will set you back somewhere between 20 and 30K MT, depending on if you're able to snipe the players, which is not bad at all, to be honest. The collection does give a duo of Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, but nearly everyone has the other Sapphire Kyrie Irving, so there's no real... Like, no real purpose in using this duo. 94 open shot mid, 84 open shot three. Ball control goes up to 94. 
but he doesn't have the same speed with ball or speed or acceleration as he has on his other sapphire card so it's not like it's not that big of an upgrade gordon hayward does go up a little bit his overshot three goes in 84 which is quite good his post fadeaway stays the same and yeah like while it is a decent duo it's not gonna blow you away like but Reggie Lewis just unbelievable like his shooting stats aren't the best but just look at these badges catch and shoot and he's got mid-range deadeye if only he had corner specials like he had last year he's a 92 open shot mid 76 open shot three with a great release good free throw great ball control really fast great driving down 93 he just jams it on people with a tendency of 85 great speed great speed with ball and can be used at the one two or the three and Reggie Lewis is just incredible like, if hot zones do make a difference, he's got them everywhere. His release is so, so good. And that gold catch and shoot badge makes him extremely overpowered. He's got 93 dunk and he's got unbelievable dunk tendencies. He actually, like, if you watch any of my videos, he starts on my main team and he jams it on everyone. Everyone says it in the comments how good this card is. Like, I would put this card slightly ahead of Isaiah Ryder and the collection that he's in is much, much cheaper. While the Celtics isn't a cheap collection, it's definitely cheap enough that it's not overly expensive like the Clippers. And definitely, I'd put this guy over at number one in collection wards. I'd put him over um, Dominique Wilkins. I'd put him over Rip Hamilton. And I'd also put him over um, Isaiah Ryder, who are considered probably the three best. I definitely, definitely think Reggie Lewis is up there and even better than them in my opinion. So anyway, that's the video. In my opinion, these are the five best collection rewards to get right now. To be honest, it's probably best to not buy any of them. But I do think that buying players like Dominique, Isaiah Ryder, Dikembe Mutombo are a huge waste of MT right now. And especially cards like Roy Hibbert as well can't even dunk. So anyway, if you guys think there's any ones that are better value, leave in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>